Gonna put on the uh, Sith armor. Even us. Yep. Opening the elevator and getting inside of there. I'm probably going to change it right now. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, defense bonus is only two, unfortunately. Just going to get my regular combat suit on. I mean, look at that. Got none. Put the suit on. Got 20. Gonna save, move over here, and we are on to witness another battle. He looks like a retarded version of an owl. Yeah, that didn't go his way. It looks like uh, the hidden back are pretty much uh, worse than the Volker. Yeah, you don't keep on me, please. Okay, nice headshot. Okay, that was bad. Hit. Ah, please, 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 don't, 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 don't hit me. Thank you. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't very effective, was it? Yep, die, die, die. Auto attack. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yep. Oh, fucking twenty critical hit, and I get it. And at the very end, this is pretty brutal, isn't it? Okay, nice. Shoot him in the head, in the head. Whoa. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty much uh, low right now. That's pretty bad. Um, basically Carthonazi did all of the work, but that's basically what my companion characters are for. As I said, I'm a bit more of a supporting character. Can't really tank anything. Just gonna use my med pack right now. How much health do I have? Oh my god, I have 24 health. Carthonazi has 44. It's basically a, like about double of my health, but that's just what you get when you're rolling a scoundrel. Just gonna throw two frag nades onto him. First one is going to, you know, kill, kill him probably. Yep, nice. And the next guy is going to die as well. Come on, die please. In the head. In the... What? Where the fuck are you shooting? In the head, please. In the head. That's pretty nice. In the head. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he basically couldn't miss that one. It was right in front of him. I would have been pretty angry if he would have missed that one. I mean, how, how bad of a shot do you have to be to stand here, aim at the guy over here, and shoot down at the fucking ground? You have to be a pretty bad shot, but, you know, it's basically, it's all a game of, um, of numbers, you know, effectively. You know, as these numbers increase, the hit chance and everything gets better. It's round-based combat, and I'm, of course, going to get better weapons and everything, so... Um, I'm not going to be super useful, but I'm going to deal a lot more damage, and a lot more reliably, of course. So being over here, this is like the first kind of uh, apartment thing. Oh, nice! Got an actual. Uh, throw a nice poison nade over here. Yep. Um, Carvonazi isn't doing anything. Come on, get wrecked. Nice. I actually hit him for a nice stun. Black Walker. In the head. And open the foot locker here. And this is one of these things you could repair. You know, if you have like the re that's why I said the repair uh, function is that bad. Um, you could repair this thing, but it does nothing. I mean, it does it does open all of the doors and checks everything, but it just dies in two hits. This is why you know, basically, it's pretty bad. Critical hit. Oh my god, I am stunned. Yeah, calf. You you do it. Come on, calf. Kill him. Kill him, calf. You know you can do it. I'm pretty much stunned anyway. 
Yeah, I was very helpful that game. Man, that entire uh, fight round. Did pretty much nothing. Sure. Okay, we've got some more bakes. I've got concussion and I've got a sonic grenade and a cryoban. I'm gonna probably use cryoban over here. And I'm gonna shoot him. Oh my god, they just died! That is one powerful motherfucking grenade. Okay, in the head. Okay, I just missed him. In the head. In the head. Okay, I'm probably just gonna use my uh, upgrade right now. Um, yeah, going to go for dexterity, of course. Skills. Um, yeah, nothing really good here. Just gonna put one in security, two in repair. I'm I'm going to skill my repair skill eventually, just because I want to have like the HK uh, <coughs> repair upgrade and everything. In the head. In the head. Okay, this is going. This is this is pretty bad. Um, like the the problem is that this guy has got a shield, and I don't really have anything to break the shield, so I'm probably just gonna use the melee. Where, oh, critical strike with a long sword. That's how you do it. Okay, blast the rifling it up. Nice little footlocker here. Oh god, Kafanaz, he's hurting. He's hurting real bad. Um, when is his next level up? I don't want to really heal him. Uh, next level up is in 900 XP. Sure. I'm probably just gonna leave him at this HP. <laughs> just gonna hope for a nice level up in the next few moments. And if he dies, I don't really care. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's, uh... I do remember this one. Um, basically, what happens here is you get a data pad from the desk where the history of a band is being described. And this footlocker here is uh, kind of um, locked and you can only open it if you have the right combination. Okay, so very first came Elinda. Uh, if I remember, it means it's been fucking years. Um, then came uh, Uyi. Was it Uya? Was it Uyi or Uya? I think it was Uyi. No, 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 it wasn't him. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. It was the other way around. It was. It was uh, Elinda. Uya. Uyi. Lopa. Photo, and then Ashana. Yeah, I, after all of these years, I still fucking know the combination to this fucking footlocker. So we get a Ikhani fiber armor, which is a pretty good, pretty good uh, thing. It's got uh, the upgradable armor tag. Uh, I pretty much don't need it anyway, so I'm just gonna give that to Carl for Nazi. As I said, it's basically more important to give all of the good stuff to your companion characters because you're basically a supporting character anyway. So we've got a security door here. I don't really remember which guy was behind here. Is it Selva? No, it's Matrix. Yeah, it's a private apartment. What are you doing here? Place looks abandoned. None of your business. Thank you. Um, uh, are you in some kind of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, that's why I've got the persuade skill. Uh, Vex giving up bounties. My name is Matrix. Used to work for the exchange. Maybe you could fake your own death. Tell me your plan, and I might have out. I could get you one. Yep, they sell that in the upper city. Just gonna loot that thing here. And I've got it. That's why I bought um, at the beginning by Kebla Yurt, you know, the real sassy black woman vendor. Just bought that permacritter and uh, it's basically like an 
explosive set of thingy and um, mate, why are you setting the explosive? I'm still in the fucking room. Yeah, just, just get, just get out of here. Like, oh my god, Kafnas is still hurting over there. He's like, oh, I'm feeling so bad. He's gonna get and level up anyway. So, who the fuck cares? Good luck and everything. Yeah, light side points for that one. It's just the easiest way to do it. Do you really want to talk? Like, dude, if you are going to block me again after I'm talking to you, really not, really not into it. And it's a very bad place to talk. You do. Fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Mm-hmm. I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. <laughs> you mean not built that way. So, but I've been betrayed before by people. I'm, well, it just won't happen again, that's all. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. I'm beginning to wonder if you're even capable of trusting. We're getting real here. We're getting fucking real here. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. <laughs> oh, he's 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 one tough motherfucker. I have to give him that. So leave. Be on your own. It's obviously what you want. You know, being very dramatic here. It's not what I want. <laughs> I have a duty, and I intend to see it through. The galaxy is in danger, and I want to save it. That's what I want. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? What? Why do you even care? We don't have time for this. So can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Like, like seriously, this guy doesn't even want to talk to us. Like, every single fucking time you want to talk to this guy, he's he's like, you know what? This is getting a bit too real for me. I I, I I'm really not good at trusting people, and um, basically, I just I just don't want to talk to anyone. Uh, basically, I'm just going to save right now before we go into the cantina. And I'm going to stop the recording right here. See you in the next recording. So welcome back. This is the next recording. So let's just... I think we were going into Jaffa's cantina. Yeah, we were. So this is the Undercity cantina. So it's going to be a bit uh, more wretched than the Upworld one. I think we haven't been in the Upworld one yet, but who cares. So we've got some Pazark players here. Unfortunately, I don't have my Pazark deck yet, so I can't really do anything. Oh, who's that? Go away. Maybe disrespecting. <laughs> Fucking black worker. <laughs> Three against one. Three. And they're all dead. Hello, Kellonord! Go away. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the same exact fucking lines. Do you have something else to say? Come on, Kello, let's see what you've got. One. Whoa, <laughs> fuck my life! Um, I'm not looking for a fight, I just want to talk. Two. Oh my, uh, uh, mm, 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 okay, 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 okay. <laughs> fuck this guy. He's so strong. You know, the actual thing is, if you would test his patience, he would just one-shot you. He actually can do that. He just, you know, he's got like a kill pistol or something like that. He just shoots you in the face and you're dead. So this is Holden, the guy with our nice little British girl in the upper city. 
got cut. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the twee like dance. <laughs> Look at them wackles head <laughs> But I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. You know what I mean? Them head tails, man. You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That man tried to cut me with a vibro blade. I want the bounty and Dyer's head removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I run for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. It's like. Every single problem on this world can be solved with 200 credits. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if my persuade skill is high enough for this one. I'm gonna try it. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. And I've lost once more 200 credits. And I've collected some light side points, which is pretty nice. Um, as I said. The kind of playthrough wasn't strictly light-sided, but then again, it's pretty binary, the game. You know, revisiting it after a few years, it's pretty binary, so you don't have much options. There's not a, I don't just, a, you know, there's not a simply I don't give a fuck option. It's just, you either are super, super awesome and nice to everyone and give them free money, or you just let them fuck off and die, which is pretty heartless. Yeah. We've got fucking Jabba Jabba in the small here. I want to know some things about bounties. I can't pretend. Okay, I don't know about Devic's special contracts. Justice is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work. Yeah, Kafanazi, you've got a good moral compass, we all know that. Um, yeah, I really want to collect a bounty. Got Matrix. And... I want more money? Give me more money? Yeah! See, that that's how it works. Nice, uh... I don't think I've ever actually persuaded him. But apparently I have now, which is pretty nice. Getting 400 credits for not actually killing somebody. And I'll be going now. So kind of cut my losses already. You know, my losses with the uh, fucking Dyer girl, you know. Giving her 200 credits. So here we've got the rotations. Me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. Oh, yummy, juicy, chica, nice. Got some proper grunts. Who you call a little girl, tuba face? Should probably just start counting. It will be more intimidating. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise to get over here. I need a problem with me. Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. This game war is getting out of hand. Vulcans aren't just attacking the hidden Bex anymore. They go after everyone. Yeah, that's because they're not in line. I saw Davik's new starship at the spaceport before the quarantine. They say it's the fastest ship on Terrace. He calls it the Evan Hawk. I heard Davix hired a Mandalorian mercenary to work for him. I didn't know there were any of them left after the Mandalore Wars. What the fuck? Mm. 
Do you want to ask you? <laughs> just get me to stare at the freak. I really want to get that answer, but I think he's going to be pretty pissed after that one. Oh my god. Um, yeah, that's all pretty interesting, but uh, I don't care. So, Mission Value, what do you have for me? That's weird. A Twi'lek who speaks Galactic. Stop being so racist towards aliens. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up on Terra, so I, I mean, sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo. And this is <laughs> Nazi still hurting. He's still not full <laughs> HP and he's just like exactly. limping through the fucking cantina. This is so funny. How do a Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up as we best friends? Kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. <laughs> I'll be going now. Going? Yeah, this guy is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z. <laughs> I'm finished eating. He's like the comic relief. He's like the good version of Jar Jar Binks. Uh, at least I'm getting some experience points for talking to them. So it's not entirely useless being here. God, these three grunts are still dead. So nothing too fruitful out of the cantina, but I don't have many quests yet leading to there, so I mean, uh, what the fuck that is. So, going into the hidden back base. Now, as I said, I haven't played this game on English, so I have no idea what fucking accent they're going to put on that on that girl. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be a proper black one. <laughs> hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Vec? What the fuck? It sounds like an old British lady. Okay. I go wherever I want. Maybe so. But this door is locked. And it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gadon or the hidden backs. Well then. It's important. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. <laughs> But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Valkyr gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Maybe I could be an ally. I mean, if I try to bribe her, she's just going to be, you know, like, fuck off, I can't be bought. My loyalty's not for sale. Yeah, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Well, we do need all that. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you, need, you want the bribe? And that's like it's like, it's like nah, nah, I don't I don't want a bribe, but uh, I will let you in anyways. You know, just if I get a give a good argument after you try to bribe me. That's pretty legit, you know. Pretty fucking legit. So this is the base of the hidden beck, nothing too special. And this is Gaden Tech. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gaden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Breshek and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulkar spy. Legit. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bredrick and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. 
murderer seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? You know, problems with I uh, uh, just cut just cut straight to the to the thing. You know, I need information on these. We've got public escape pods. I mean, that's oddly specific, isn't it? But I'm just gonna ask anyway. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around mm. the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. No. Calm down, Sidra. <laughs> if the Sith thought we knew anything yeah. useful, they'd have Calm a down. Take a fucking chill pill. Door. I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Don't worry. I am not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. And that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. Hmm. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Well, that's pretty decisive. Do you know anything about that? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Rezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Rezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. How do I do it? It's like Star Wars Episode 1 all over again. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Wise words, old man. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you will win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. It all leads to the fucking Volker. They are pretty vulgar. Oh, that was a very bad joke. Why did I even do that? Um, oh, how do I get in there? Into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Well, fucking thanks for telling me now, now that she uh, like left the fucking cantina already. Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. So where can I find her? I mean, I've just encountered her in the cantina, but where should know? Wookie friends are always looking to stir up a little <laughs> They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the danger. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity, but you'll need some way past the sit guard post at the elevator. I've got some disguises. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Well, I'm gonna trade them. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, I'm just gonna get back with the accelerator. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. And now I have permission to go everywhere. I mean, not everywhere. Fucking Volker have got like a little talk in that, but um, I can go pretty much everywhere where the Sith allow me. Okay, this is the wrong direction. This is the right direction. Gonna have a nice little save game right here, standard save. 
Just like to have all of my saves regularly. And snipe this guy? Uh, maybe not. In the head. Okay, I missed him. This is getting pretty ridiculous. Um, yeah, and he's dead. Half or not, he's fucking dead. Of course he's dead. Come on, die please. Oh, thank you! That's very polite. Fucking door woman. Uh, just help me right here. Probably wouldn't have made it on my own, but... Um, this is like a late game build, you know? This will come in and it's going to be useful eventually. It's just a very, very, very bad thing to go for at this stage. Because as you can see, my sniping skills aren't very good. But he's dead. 